Hello, boys and girls. So we're going to start by trying to do emojis. Now, emojis are a very popular uh, symbol. They're an image that we see almost all the time in texts. We see them in advertisements. We've even seen them in movies. They're very, very popular. And so they're a great thing to use for to study pop art, which is when you're looking at something that is very popular. Now, for this particular project, I'm using a square of paper. Use any paper you have. But you do need something round. I'm just using tape, but you can use a cup, a bowl, uh, a bucket, anything that's round because you're going to be needing to trace this. Now, I got a pencil, eraser, and a marker here, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put this together. First, I'm just going to put this on top of my square of paper, and then with a pencil, I'm going to trace my circle. That's it. That was pretty simple. I take this out, and now I've got a nice circle. Now I'm going to find an emoji that I want to try and copy. Now you can look on your cell phone, you can look on the, on the internet, you can look pretty much anywhere. You can't avoid these. They're everywhere. So you should be able to find an image you like. I think I'm going to use this one. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. And here I am doing a nice little happy face and I'm giving some teeth. And there we go. Now sometimes you might want to do something that has like little tears or something coming out of it like this. This is why I would like you to please use pencil first before you use that marker because if you make any mistakes if you go through some of your lines then that's fine you can always erase it or just leave it alone we're going to be painting these anyway after you have the emoji that you like you can put all this other stuff away and now i'm going to pull out my marker now i'm going to come in here and i'm going to trace all of my lines again i think it's helpful to use this with the marker, but if you're using something like a cup or a bowl that you don't want to get marker on, then don't do this. Just go ahead and freehand it. But if you don't mind, if you're using just a piece of tape, no problem. Then I'll just come over here and I'll trace this out. Trace this out. There we go. Come over here and start finishing this up. And this shouldn't take me too long to do. I said, we're not doing this because it's hard. We're doing this because it's relatively simple. So try to keep it simple. I get some kids to try to color things in and do all kinds of weird stuff with this. Now just keep it easy. And there we go. And so now I've got my image and it's already nice and done. So I'm going to put my markers away. Now you're going to color this in using pretty much whatever you want. If you've got crayons, use crayons. If you've got color pencils, go ahead. I'm going to use temper paints. In the past, we've used a lot of watercolor paints, which is why I wanted to use tempers for these, because we want to use as many different kinds of art materials as we can. Now, with temperas, they do behave a lot more differently than watercolors. Watercolors need a lot of water, just a little bit of paint. Tempers are the opposite. They're liquid. They're already pretty soft. So all I need to do is have a little bit of water, and I can scoop this paint up like this. Just pick it up like a little spoon and just slap it on there. And you're going to put as much of, this, much of this on here as you'd like. So I'm going to come over here and paint this little bad boy like so. Don't worry about painting over the lines. For this part, all I want you to do is get used to using this paint. That's all. So you can be as careful as you want. Uh, I don't want you to be super sloppy, but it's okay if you're a little messy. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. But I do want you to get used to picking up that paint and moving it around. It's important that you get used to how temper paints work because they are different than watercolors. So that's done. Sure, that's good. Now I'm going to clean up my brush. I've got these little tears here, so I think I'll grab a little bit of blue paint those little bad boys in and you can see sometimes my paint can be very dark and sometimes I can make it very watery now the background do I need to paint the background no if you want this to be done fine leave it alone don't do anything else if you really want to paint the background that's fine pick a color and color it in now you see this part right here in the mouth that's supposed to be black if I wanted to take, I take my marker and color it in I could I think I'm going to do something a little different I think I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint that part red even though it's not really red I wanted to put it red. And so there we go. And I could call that done. Now, the last part, of course, is to take this green paint and to paint the background if you want to do that. If you want to leave it alone, leave it alone. But if you want to grab the green, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up like this, and I'm going to start painting. I'm not going to make you watch me do this. I'll just go ahead and speed this part up just a little bit. And there we go. Now I painted this up. Now, you're also going to notice I put this on a paper towel. When you're painting all the way to the edges, I don't want you to accidentally paint your table or make a mess where you're at. So I would put a paper towel under it. That way, all of your mess gets on your paper towel, and that way your table is pretty much clean. Now, after this, go ahead and let it dry. When it's dry, if you'd like to, you can always get your marker, and you can come back, and you can start putting in your details. I've let this dry, so I can come in here, and I can start, you know, just making the lines a little bit darker. This one, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it alone, and I can show you some of these ones that I've already finished. Just to give you an idea, 
of how these can go. So that is our emoji project. I hope you do a good job. Can't wait to see how these turn out.